Okay, okay, okay. What are you saying, producers? E and I on the track. Back on your box. In today's video, I've got a gem for you guys. Serious gem. I'm going to show you a free workflow for getting your favorite sounds from your favorite desktop VSTs onto Beatmaker 3 as bank presets. Let's get into it. For this all to work, you're going to need your iPad, of course. You're going to need a PC where all your VSTs are stored. And you're going to need some way of transferring the files over to your iPad. I'm going to be using my SSD drive for this today. But you could use a cloud storage if you want to. Or AirDrop. So I'm on my PC now. And the first thing that we want to do is head over to the internet. Type in MPC Beats in Google. First thing will take you to this page. You want to hit free download. Drop in your details. Get the link to download it. Install it. And we'll open up. So if this is your first time using MPC Beats, like it was mine, just double tap on Empty Project. And so to get yourself set up for this, you want to find all your VSTs first. So we just hit the menu button at the top. Head over to Edit. Preferences at the bottom. You want to go over to our plugins. You want to check these boxes for wherever we set a source. And I've set my sources. I'm sure you know where your VSTs are placed. So just do that. Now, it's already found my plugins before, so there's no point in me showing you the scan here. But if you scan it, you'll see all your VSTs get loaded up. And then you're good to go. So our first step is we want to load up a plugin for the sound we want to sample. So to load up a plugin, we just tap on this plug icon here. And under plugin, just select that. And where I've got my VSTs added to the library, I've got Analog 4 and Omnisphere. So let's sample a sound from Omnisphere. So I'm going to select it, and if I hit this button here, this will open up the Omnisphere VST window. Just let it load, there it is. Okay, let's go with this preset. So we've got it selected in Omnisphere, let's head back to MPC. And with the preset that we want to sample set, we go back over to our menu, go over to tools, and we want to launch the auto sampler. And what this tool will do is take a sample of notes within a desired range and at desired intervals. You can set the velocity of the sample being triggered. So I know for this particular preset, I want to take it down a bit because it's a bit harsh when it's at max velocity. So take it down to 110. You can set the length for the note that you're sampling. So for this instrument, three seconds is going to be enough for it because it's a percussive instrument but if you've got a synth for example or a piano with a, with a long decay or any sort of sustained sound you may want to stretch the note length and with that then you can enable looping so you can loop the sound cut at the x points or sorry cut at the zero points bass name here this is where you want to name the file that's being created and it will create this for every note that's been sampled so I'm going to name this after the plugin preset. Let's just go back to it. Childhood toys, childhood toys or less. Let's just work out our range. So I think we want to go from C2 to about C5. Now note stride will determine your sampling intervals and ultimately how many files are going to get sampled. Now I've run a short test myself and you can see the results above and I'll put them in the description as well. But the sweet spot for this workflow in terms of getting a reasonable size bank preset is every six. And what this means is that when I start the sampling, it will sample the first note, which will be C2. And then it's next note that it samples will be six steps up, G flat or G flat two. And then the next note after that will be six steps up which will be C3, and then so on and so forth. For this preset, I'm going to turn off looping because it is a percussive instrument. And we want to make sure that we check make current program box. So with all that set, we hit do it. So you can hear a plane of notes and sampling them. up 
So all those samples are loaded up here now. Next step, we're gonna head back to our menu, over to file and export. We're gonna export as an MPC 5000 program, as a 5000 program, not as a sequence. Head over to the file drive for where you wanna store it. Now I've already got a folder structure set up for Omnisphere. As you can see, I've sampled many already. Let's create a new folder for this. So I've got that folder created. Let's hit save. So I saved into my hard drive. Let's head over to the iPad now. Right, so we're at the iPad now. Let's head over to our file explorer. I'm gonna go over to my SSD drive. Let's find this sound that we just sampled. Here it is. So we've got all of the sound sampled. The little wave files. Let's copy that over to our imports folder. Let's head over to BeamMaker 3 now. You can do this on any project. All you need is a bank open up. Head over to your sampler. And then I'm gonna go over to my folder view. It's got documents at the top here. And I'm gonna go to my inputs folder. And here I'll find the folder that I've just imported with the sample. Let's play that. That's a C2, G flat two, C3. So these are the notes sampled again every six. So with the sample open now, we want to go over to mapping. So this is where we're going to map out our sample over the sampler and be beat maker three. So we're going to start with our first note, which is C2. We're going to hold and drag it over. And with beat maker three, you get the option to either sample it across the entire range from C minus three, I think, all the way up to C seven or C eight. If I drag it down, I can sample it across an octave. But for this, I know that I've sampled every six notes. So my only option is to sample it on the note itself. We'll drop it on the note itself for now. And then by tapping just to the right of this bar, we can drag it along. So we wanna drag this along six steps. That takes us up to F2. So if you remember this pattern, if you're using this interval, C to F, F sharp to B. So I'm gonna drag my next note on. Oh, whoa. So I've just made a big mistake and forgot to tell you a crucial step in this. In building these banks, you're dealing with multiple samples and you want them all to sit on the sample at the same time in their own specific range. By default, your sampler will be set that every time you load a sound, it will replace the sound that exists. Right, beat maker three. We select our first sound, and at the bottom here, if we toggle on replace samples, we can toggle to add to a new layer, or we can add to the existing layer. For this workflow, we need to be set to add to existing layer. So I've got my first sample loaded. We'll load my next sample now, and drop it beside it. It's added to that layer now. And now from F sharp, We'll drag to B2. We'll do the same for C3. Drag, hold, drag down towards the bottom so that you're just dragging on an individual note. Again, drag it across six steps to the next F. If you get a, if you get a situation where you dropped it on the wrong space like I've done here, you may have to drag from the left here and then towards the right to create six steps. But notice at the bottom of this rectangle, the arrow is pointed to this key here. This is the root note that is set for the sample range. We need to make sure that even though we drag to the left, our root note is also set to the bottom of this range also. So our root note should be the same as our low key. So just drag that over one and you can see the arrow moves across. Just in case you made that mistake where you dropped the sample in the wrong place, make sure when you get it right, you check that your root key set. So we've got our notes mapped out across the sampler. Let's check it out. Just had to make that correction there. Place one of the samples in the wrong region.
So we've got all of our notes mapped out. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at our envelopes. And by default, they come in sampled with the loop set to forward. Again, this is a percussive instrument, so we're gonna set that to off for all of them. And we're also gonna set the layer trigger to one shot two as well. I think that's gonna work, so yeah. So let's just set all of them to sample loop, no loop. For certain sounds, you may find you're gonna to need to tweak your envelope. If you've got a piano sound with a long decay, a lot of echo to it, you may wanna to switch to AHD. But I think we're good for this sound here. And that's pretty much the work workflow, guys. Once you're done with that, head over to your pads view. I like to toggle the keys on for this, so it's always on when it's loaded. Hit the three dots at this banner here. Let's save the bank. Make sure that you always have copy session samples toggled on. And what this means is that it will save the samples into a folder that will sit with the bank preset file in your bank presets folder. And you no longer have to use the versions of the files that you imported into BeatMaker 3. So you can discard those at BeatMaker 3 and then look for those files. So you don't have to worry about moving those around anywhere. Just, just delete your imported files. But make sure you've got copy session samples toggled. I'm going to go ahead and name mine. That's the bank saved. If I go over to my menu now and over to my search and to my bank, you can see like I've got a couple of other banks created. Here's the bank that we've created. Now to make it easy for me to find it because I know I'm gonna have a lot of banks created across a lot of different VSTs. Just like my folder structure for exporting my files from the VST, I've got a category structure for finding these banks on BeatMaker 3. So for every new sound that I bring in, tap on edit, Select that sound, go over to the bottom here, edit category. I've already got a category tag set up for Omnisphere. And I know that this particular sound would fall on the keyboards. But if you needed to create a new category or a new subcategory, you'd simply hit the plus button that's up here, type in the name of the category, and the tag will become available. Once I've got my categories, my subcategory selected, hit set keyboards. Tap out of edit category, tap out of edit. You can see now, I've got the information there. If I toggle onto all categories, head over to atmosphere, and to the keyboard sounds, I can find this bank here. So add a new bank, load it up. And these samples are velocity sensitive as well. One thing I forgot to do, it's also crucial, is setting up your banks. A lot of these sounds are not mono by default, unlike the sample on BeatMaker 3. So before saving the bank, you want to make sure you hit on polyphony here. I usually take it up to around about 15, just in case you're doing some, some mad chords and melodies at the same time, maybe you've got three hands. So I set it to 15, that will allow me to play. set now i'm going to save this bank again toggle to set, save the session sample it asked me to overwrite it so now i've saved the bank as a default again yeah guys that's the workflow if you go watch it over again watch it over and over again it's pretty simple but yeah like i said game changer now but yeah there's been no beat today but if you like what you've seen in today's video make sure you hit that like button and if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already Make sure you smash that like button. And as always guys, keep cooking. <laughs>